What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this is your boy Foxdie here and I just had a really, really awesome surprise that NVIDIA Broadcast came out today. I had a feeling that it would because today's when all the uh, RTX GPUs came out, the 3080s and the add-in board partners came out. So I figured that NVIDIA Broadcast would drop today. I was going through a whole bunch of updates. I had a GeForce driver update and lo and behold here's NVIDIA broadcast ready and waiting for us so as you probably can hear I've already turned on the noise removal if I turn it off I'm sure that you're gonna be able to hear I don't have much in the background but what I do have in the background is this I have the baby monitor in the background this is with the noise removal off and I turn it on and I, I do believe that the baby's the noise is gone that for me number one is the best thing because he's sitting here and have the kids in the background watching TV clapping away going nuts like crazy and you hardly hear a thing You can also do the same thing for incoming messages. I never understood the speaker side until they actually came, this piece came with it. Um, so they're different, like a chip bag here, right? So right now we have the noise removal off. Hi there. This is a test message with a chip bag in the background. Normally it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result of this background noise. Okay, I'm gonna turn the speakers on and then play the same message. Hi there. This is a test message with a chip bag in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result of this background noise. What? I, I, so now all you people working from home, please get yourself an RTX 2060. That is the minimum required GPU for this. Get it and plug it in and your Zoom calls and Microsoft Teams will be perfect now. Uh, done hallelujah praise the lord now you can tell by my past streams and my past videos that my background's not the best this is the children's play area this is the only space that we have for my computer and my desk for now so i'm really excited for this i'm going to bring up my task manager and we're going to go to the GPU, okay? Because I just want to see what is going to be taxed on the GPU. It should just be the, R, the, the Tensor cores, the RT cores. It would be good for me because I don't play any games with RTX. Because, you know, with the 2070 or the 20 series, it really bogs down your frame rate. So what we're going to start out first is the background blur. It's the very first effect on here. And we're going to turn it on. This looks like I've got a $800 camera hooked up to this. And then you can also adjust the strength if needed. So you can make it super blurry. So you are the only one in the front. My lighting sucks. Wow. And you can see the dedicated memory usage went up just a titch. 300 megabytes? 300 megabytes to get this blurred background. Okay, so let's turn that off. Let's go to the next one. Background replacement. So you have to have it on to be able to select a picture. And let's just say that here. Oh, perfect. Hey, Halle Berry. How you doing? The further I go away, the better it is. But you can tell with the shadows, it makes it a little more difficult. But that's not bad, man. And what's the... Uh, 1.5 so we, we're only using 200 megabytes of GPU memory here so now this is supposed to follow me hmm, that's pretty good so I'm always centered that's slick and that uses 200 megs or not even 100 that's slick man that's some good stuff right there. I don't care who you are. 
background removal. Now this is really how I'm going to use it for, you know, in game and things like that. There I am. I'm gone. Background removal. <laughs> Bruh. And just so you can see that I'm not I'm not messing with you. It was actually pretty easy. Um I'll bring this over here. So it has it as set as camera in video broadcast. So it's super easy to find. Your microphone, it's already default. Your speakers, it's already default. And your camera, you can pick which ones you have. I only have the one on here. So for some reason, it had my resolution set at uh, 3840 by 2160. And this is just a 1080p camera. So I clicked from 2160 to 1920 and boom here I am so the printer's right here <laughs> I'm touching the printer I am 100% touching the printer right now that's crazy this is my Cricut oh so we're almost the same color well it's not my Cricut it's my cousin's Cricut but she doesn't know how to use it that's great here's the lamp there's the lamp <laughs> This is so cool. I don't know what's going to pop up. Oh, look, there's my family. Follow us, Dare House, on YouTube. Look at my beautiful family. This is, that's an older picture, too. Oh, wow. I just, I'm blown away. And there's the background blur. So now I can, you know, it still looks, oh, gosh. It still looks bad. <laughs> I thought it might make it a little better, but it, it doesn't. And then this auto frame, that's the coolest. That's really cool. But the background removal, game changing. 100% game changing, because now I can take this. Look, and I come over here, and I can just move myself here. And bam, I'm just, I'm out of the way. And it's all for free from NVIDIA. I mean, you gotta buy it what $300 card $500 card but it's free so thank you NVIDIA this is a game changer for me I gotta I gotta get better lighting obviously like I mean that's that's a given but even still with this bad how bad this lighting is I could always just you know give me some white over here and then get me some white over here and game changer 110 percent game changer <laughs> i'm in my computer thanks so much for joining me in my ted talk today about nvidia rtx i really hope that you've learned something i certainly have i've learned that this graphics card that i've had for a year and a half is still surprising me with what it can do and the whole time this thing's gonna be learning to it's gonna be doing better and getting better and being better at what it does so I'm excited for the future I hope you are too like I said drop a comment on um, your experience with NVIDIA broadcast do you want to get it are you gonna get it do you already have it and like this video if you liked it if you like this it was an overview I was just super excited and I wanted to share it with somebody so thanks for letting me share it with you. Have a good one. Bye.